All right, it looks like Elias will get us started, and we are underway in Quincy, Massachusetts. A little bit wet, the conditions on the pitch as New England kicks it into touch. Look for him to have, just keep it tight and then have a go somewhere when, when the numbers line up for him. And you know, last week, coming back. And there's a yeah. whistle, it's gonna come back there playing the advantage. Pushing straight. Minus 750, New England. Plus 525 for Dallas. Eight, I think that's the even money for you. Yeah, that was a great shot by Lestrange there. Jumped out of the line and really put a good shot on, but then didn't roll away. And the kick, and the kick is up and the kick is good. And his kick is up and it is good. He plays the win perfectly and ties it up at three. And it's a New England on attack in the red, white, and blue. Dallas in the aqua and white, kind of like the Pumas, but just aqua, right? Instead of the powder blue, it's pretty much the same kit. It is nice. And it's a, a huge Argentine influence on this team is Conradi taking on a couple of tacklers. Ian Conradi with the big try for New England. Great pick off the back there by Conradi. Okay. Comes straight down that channel. Seven slow off the game, and you can see that the ten's gone wide, and then he's had to step back in to try and make that tackle. He just didn't have enough power behind it. Uh, so the seven there didn't get off quick enough, and that really put a lot of pressure back onto that ten to make that tackle. And that's a ten's nightmare with that eight coming down that channel. Position to get the ball. The player's landing on his side, so it's going to be a yellow card, right? Yeah, not in a realistic position. Yeah. All right. A little show and go from Rura. And it's going to be a penalty, not releasing on the part of New England. Nick, uh, Nate, you got to take the kick here, right? And the kick is up, and the kick is good. No doubt about it. And that is an important play for Dallas. If you're New England, you got to fix that up. you got to be really up for the defense and, and really stick it to them. And if you're Dallas, you've got to take the opportunities when they come. All right. We'll have more opportunities now as Dallas takes the high ball from Patros's kickoff to restart us in this second half. New England's got starters on that bench. And Dallas doesn't. But don't tell that to the Jackals as they just get awarded the first penalty. Dallas fortunate to retain possession after the strip tackle from New England. Yeah, they've got the advantage for offside too. New England's a little too yeah. eager. Their line speed's great. There's a ball tipped. Who's got it? New England, so it'll come back to the point of the initial infraction. They've got to play like they've got no pressure on them. They've got to play I, like I, they're, I like that. they're putting the pressure on, not, not receiving the pressure. I, got I should nothing say to that lose. way. Nothing to lose. Right. And here's that kick, and it does it find the Yes, it does. We have a one-point match in New England. Cole Keith. No, Cole Keith doesn't have a scrum cap box. Sakara does. Yeah, Sakara's isn't lack of good haircut because that mullet of his is outstanding. I, I, I love his, yeah. his whole. Yeah, so he's not wearing one to cover a bad haircut. That's two penalties that Dallas has got on the last two scrums with that fresh front row on that we've talked about all game. We've talked about how they can bring the starters on, and twice now they've got penalised. You just saw a great kick and a great a, a, a great kick reception from Patros. Oh, and that's going to be a penalty against Dallas. Roddy helping him out is number eight. Kind of shoves him out of the way there a little bit, doesn't he, Nate? And now the ball's on the outside, tipped. Balakana gets the rebound, but it's going to be a whistle and a knock-on earned by Dallas. Uh, Nate, now your task is to come up with the player of the match for us in this one because this has been one of those where you don't know who is who it is because there's been so many different players doing yes. so many different things. But right now, desperate are the Free Jacks to get the ball, and they do, and they get it out, and the Free Jacks survive the Jackals in an epic battle here in Quincy, Massachusetts, unfortunately for the Jackals. They are now 0-5 on the season as the Free Jacks Take, take some game. control of the Eastern Conference. Right, there was players take across it. both teams that could have been the player of the match. I think Reese McDonald. I think Reese McDonald, he had such a great game at the back there. He saved a try.